moment. It was like, of all these places, where do you want to win the most? Where can you go win and it will mean the most on every level? And there's no doubt in my mind that it is here. And that's why I'm here. I think that's why we're here, is because this is a special place to come win and win big. It's like nowhere else. We will be relentless every minute, every day, 24-7, chasing excellence. BYU does have one remaining timeout. They should take it. They're not organized. Mark Pope should take a timeout now. Eight seconds for Toulson. Oh, stripped by Hinton. Final five seconds. And they turned it over. What happened is they called a turnover. They called a carry. Again, another look at the turnover was called just before that moment. They blew the dunk, but called for that carry. Right at the top. Hawes is going to the hole. Here's T.J. Hawes against Grimes. Final seconds falling away. Oh, off the bounce. Hawes connects. BYU wins it. Hawes back into the game. Here's Yoli. And Childs dunks in his first two. Boy, he did a great. BYU on a 9 nothing run. Shock clock's at five. Merrill blocked by Childs, gets it back. Now it's Anderson over Nixon. And a shot clock violation, and the Cougar faithful rise to their feet. They look into Yoli, get back to TJ. Back to Barcelo, shot clock's at 10. Barcelo to Nixon, gets it back. From the corner for three, good! All right, well run play. Check it to two, now the officials are gonna stop. Timeout, Mark Pope. Toulson missed the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Bean for three. The Cougars have beat the Aggies 68-64. It is eight in a row for BYU in this rivalry. And this, one of the best games we've had in years. So that wraparound hook shot from Kuzi. Here comes Childs leading the break. DJ Hawes pull up three. It's good. Sloppy, not taking care of the ball as well. Toulson will dribble into a three and hit it. Big shot. There's Barcelo for three, two in a row for BYU, Alex. Lead for the Gales, and Hawes has the ball. Not for long. He's going to get it back, though. Clock at 10 for three. Hawes, good! Plenty of time, and wait a minute. A timeout after the made bucket. And they'll find a way to get forward the ball. Across midcourt, Jordan Ford going to go down the lane. The runner is no good. Ball tipped around. Shot blocked. BYU wins.
Marcellus pick and pop. And a three. <laughs> the last two minutes has been the Zach Sellius show. Controlled by the number two team in the country, Gonzaga, and we are underway from Provo in what could well end up being the game of the year in the West Coast Conference. And just forcing Petrushev to take contested shots. What a pass from Childs to Lee. It's on one end and then hustled to get down on the offensive end. Tilly will score and no foul call. Man. I thought that was a clear foul. They didn't call it. Well, well, think about this, though. BYU right now is plus six points in the paint. Long Lee for three. Woolridge double teamed. Scrambled for the ball. Comes away with it. Celius rips it away from him. Just took it from him. Tulson three. Yes! I'd bring the double right away. I don't want Yoli Childs having any chance to get downhill. DJ Hawes for three. Good! Not too much. Gilder got it rejected by Childs. On the <laughs> at points and times over the course of his collegiate career to have what's going to happen here in about a minute. It's special. Horn sounds. Here we go. We'll throw it in. It's into Ford. Jordan Ford for the win. Got oh. it! 1.4 seconds to go. Mark Pope will call a timeout as BYU will have just enough time to maybe get off a game winning shot. With that shot, well, you've got time for one dribble here. Home run pass. Yoli Childs knocked out of bounds. It belongs to St. Mary's, and they are going to advance to the title game tomorrow night. Player on the floor, and the remaining time will expire. I am really surprised that they didn't hit Hawes there in that moment. There's the touch, and that does it. Jordan Ford hits the game winner, and St. Mary's somehow outlasts BYU. They will take on Gonzaga for the West Coast Conference title tomorrow night.